Well, I've been in retail for like eight years now. So, I, I, like, I work at Adidas. So I've known like about the sneaker culture for like about a good six years, six, seven years. I mean, it's it, it just like two, three years ago, it became like real, real big, but it's been like just a recent thing. Like it's exploded like within the last two years. I've always been in sneakers, but my man right here put me on to more of the exclusive stuff and you know, the um, rare, rare kicks and stuff. It's like everything else, it's a fad. And like it, it, it's become a household name. Like now it's not only like, it's not cool to only have like a jacket or a sweatshirt. Like now you have to have the sneakers to go with it. Like if not, then you ain't shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you catch it all the time. You got a pair of hot kicks on and nobody else got. And you know, somebody who knows the culture, you walk by and they're like, oh, those are them joints right there. And I wish I had those. And those were, you know, like back in the days when you like, you into baseball cards or whatever. If you had that rare baseball card, everybody wanted it. It's kind of the same thing, you know, except it's something you walk around with. You know, it's like, a piece of you it reflects your, your personality your style it's so down low like if he's wearing those pumps people will look at him and be like wait where'd you get those Reebok pumps at you know what I'm saying so it's like you want to keep it like that you don't want it to be like oh I got these over at Stussy or I got these over at Recon you don't want to give nobody that because you want to be the only one with it you know yeah, I did all that <laughs> yeah. they've only made like about a thousand pairs of those they retail for maybe 150. Once they're sold out, they shoot up to like five, six hundred bucks. Being that it's gotten a bit more commercial, I think Nike is now starting to realize, and I think they're trying to capitalize on it now. You'll see them coming back with the retros, just a limited edition of them, because they they're trying to capitalize on it because they see that it's such a big thing now, you know. You know, with the obviously with technology, with the internet, the, and people uh, across across cultures and across across ethnicities. You know, European kicks that came out, Japanese. You know, been able to use the sneaker craze, right, as a just another form of you know as a, a melting pot type of thing. You know, you know, feel me on that? If you make it too widespread, then it defeats the purpose of it being, you know, the sneaker craze or the whole culture. Like the whole culture is about it being so secretive and such a down low shit. You could go here to Adidas, right here, Adidas Soho, and if you see something in here that you could probably get, in, you know, in, in Times Square or, in, you know, at Champs or Foot Lock or whatever, it's really kind of like taken away from the whole, you know, special, you know, the craze, you know? And I know you guys are trying to get into all these stores. It's going to be hard, and going in with cameras, they don't want us to film, but that's just... The example of what we're trying to say like everything is just so on the low everything in soho you know not only sneakers but just in general like everything is so exclusive and this is what this area is about keep it like that yeah. you know keep it ours